About six years ago, I noticed that I was starting to have tremors in my right hand. And at that time period, I was diagnosed with essential tremors. Could not cut, I would cut myself with a knife, and I could no longer do my artwork, and could no longer paint. And so we were really hyper aware that I needed to have some, some help. Essential tremor is a very common neurologic condition. Uh, affects a lot of our elderly, but also uh, even people uh, young of age. Uh, they can live with this uh, neurologic condition their whole life. It does tend to worsen over time, and it involves tremors of the hands and even other uh, parts of the body. Deep brain stimulation is a fairly common treatment now for essential tremor. It's a surgical procedure. It's kind of like a pacemaker for the brain, used to control very small parts of the brain that have gone awry. Once the surgery is done, patients come into the clinic and we activate the system like we would a pacemaker and we monitor the tremor in real time. And so we can actually optimize the effect of the stimulator here in our clinic. And so after the surgery, once the patients have recovered, they will come and see us, we'll activate the system for them and they will leave the clinic feeling so much better than when they came in. But for essential tremor, which was the first indication for deep brain stimulation, it remains such a wonderful indication to treat because the patients can do so well with it. You know, when I see them after they've recovered and we've turned the device on, and I always ask them to give me feedback on how their life is, and it's so consistently more enriched and uh, satisfying for them. I would say that I've just gotten my whole life back. I can now paint again, and I'm just so thrilled at the whole process of this miracle, really. The essential tremor patients are really the inspiration for the future. Psychiatric disorders, obesity, drug addiction. Many of these disorders are due to a part of the brain that's gone awry. And so trials are ongoing to kind of explore the horizons of deep brain stimulation. But uh, essential tremor, while the inspiration is, is only the beginning. I always tell patients that they're really part of a movement to bring treatments to the brain that uh, we have not been able to offer before. Having this surgery has made me more present. I am not so preoccupied with being worried about how I look, how I look to other people with my shaking and not being able to do things or breaking dishes. The change that I experienced was truly life-changing for me.